Hey Human Squad, this is just a small clip video where I'm going to tell you guys something about this video I'm about to edit. I literally am up editing it right now, but see, I can never do my camera properly. Burp! Thank you, Burp. You are such a good boy. Okay, anyway, so this is just a small clip I wanted to put into this video right before I edit it and get everything out and stuff. This video was back in October of uh, the 16th-ish area, and I meant to edit it, but a lot of things happened. My, there was a huge storm, literally the day I was going to edit, that Monday, the day, the day after I got back, I'm like, either, I don't know if I'm going to feel okay, because it was super, you know, we got home kind of on the late side on Sunday, and I was also really tired, so I was like, let me see if I can edit today. And then a huge storm hit. And we'll make that video about you. God, this bird. So anyway, so long story short, the video, the computer. Are you done? Yeah, go scratch your butt. I don't understand this bird anymore. So anyway, uh, so there was a huge storm that hit and it made my power flicker like really badly to where nothing turned on. I was shocked that the lights were still working. Like that's how bad it was. My Xbox wouldn't turn on. My computer wouldn't even turn on. Like it turned on, but it didn't connect to the internet or anything. It was like completely dead. The Xbox, I tried unplugging it and plugging it back in. I tried the router. I had to get a new router anyway. It because of the wiring underneath my apartment, um, my whole internet thing is screwed up. They're just super old wires. It's really disgusting down in that down underneath the apartments where the wires are supposed to be. So I got just got a new router this weekend. It's a lot faster. I'm sweating already. I know. Ugh. Um, but yes. Yeah, so with the new faster router, the the old computer is running a lot better. By the way, it's running a little bit faster, just a little. It's not a huge improvement. I'm still going to get a new computer one day. I am saving up for that. Don't worry. But it's running a little bit better. But when the power was flickering on that day, I was afraid to use the computer because if the Chromebook, the little Chromebook I have that I've had a lot for almost three years now, stopped working, then I didn't even know what the heck this computer was going to do. So I was like... Yeah, let's leave the computer alone for a good couple of days. And I did. So then I went to go edit um, the week after because I was really busy that whole week. And um, by the time I got to getting the computer on and everything started up and running, I was like, oh, while I, you know, because the files take a couple of hours to upload into the editor, um, why don't I play a game on my computer while I wait? Because that's normally what I do. Or I play on my Xbox. So I went to go on to one of my online games, Wizard 101, and it logged me in. I was perfectly logging in. Okay, I was like, okay, you know, there's no problems. But then the second I logged into onto one of my wizards, it just completely kicked me off and said I lost internet connection. I look in the corner, you know, where your internet signal, you know, how many bars you have and all that. And it was completely five bars. Is that five bars? Yeah, it's five bars. I had to double check because sometimes, you know, they're different. Like I said, I have an old computer, so. But I was, I'm like, wait, how, I have a strong signal, so why did it kick me off? So I went onto the Twitter page because normally they're very updated on their, on Twitter to know if the game has ever went down on maintenance or is anybody else having problems. But no, it was perfectly fine. So I was like, okay, let me shut the computer down. Um... Then I realized that I still had the files uploading into the editor. So I was like, uh, nope, we're going to get all out of all this. Going to leave the computer gone for a good couple hours. Did it again. It wouldn't let me play my game. So I was like, okay, so I'm going to have the files upload into the editor. Then I'm gonna, just going to do something else. I'm going to leave it alone. The computer shut itself off. Now, I know some people are like, oh, it's probably because it's overheating. I'm putting my hand here. This is where the fan is. This is where the fan is, right under here. And I have my hand right here. And this computer's been on for a good couple hours, actually, right now. I was playing on it earlier. It doesn't even feel that hot. It feels... 
normal. So it's not because it's overheating, it's because it's old. And there are, of course, too many things running in the background. So right now it's running a little bit better. This is also the first day of the new router on the computer. So it's running a little bit better than it normally does, which is good. But it's still going to give me issues. I just know that. So I'm really sorry about all this, that this video has came out so late. I really did tell every, I did really say that, hey, just letting you know, I meant to make this little clip a long time ago, but I didn't. Just been really busy. Got a lot of plans this month. My sister's birthday, her boyfriend's birthday, got a friend's baby shower this weekend. Probably when this video is uploaded, it'll be the it'll be the around the baby shower time. Um, but this is also my very first vlog, so please don't judge me on the vlog, by the way, because I've never vlogged. <laughs> the most uh, vlogging I've ever did in public is my couch, which is, by the way, super comfy. If you don't have a comfy couch, I don't know what you're doing with your life. Unless you have a comfy bed, then you're doing okay. But, um, we're gonna roll the clips of my vlog, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Good morning, Hooban Squad! Bird. He's still in my house. He's still in my house. You should watch the beautiful bird. So this is like my first vlog, I guess. Oh god, I can't, I can't even put the camera on my face, right? So this is holding it a little bit better. I know I need to do dishes. Wait, 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 wait. This is fishy. A new addition to the family. Got anything to say, Fishy? I'm talking about you. So, I was like, hmm, going on vacation this weekend, what do I do? Ooh, let me vlog the whole trip. But then I realized, I, you know, <sighs> geez, I look like crap. Yay! I still got some things I gotta pack. Um... I gotta pack my Xbox. I gotta pack my computer. I gotta pack my hygiene stuff, of course, because I like just woke up. <laughs> Josh wants to help me read the cookie aisle at the store today. I do gotta go food shopping. Because I got my money today. And just overall, I just gotta get dressed, finish getting ready. Too tired. <laughs> you can all tell by my dark circles. Where's my laptop case? I think it's in my room. I don't ever turn on my room light. Yeah, I'm not one of those people. Little baby crumb case. Oh yes, and I'm also going to steal something from ye old computer. That I normally use on ye old computer. I also gotta bring out my uh, suitcases. Yeah, I, you can tell I don't vlog. What do you want? A oh, burp, can you want, do you want to tell everybody about your, uh, your beautiful promotion? You are now the executive producer of my channel. Do you have any thoughts? Fine then, be that way. Be that way then. You were all chatty yesterday. Sheesh. Then bring out one more suitcase. Ugh. So I leave today and I come back Sunday. Only downside is my father, he has to, we have to wait till he goes to work, gets back from work for us to go. And that's understandable. It's only like a few hours away. Oh, I think I should bring my tripod. Yeah, I'm gonna bring my tripod. This is me when I wake up in the morning and haven't done anything. What time is it anyway? Oh, 
it's only 8.30 in the morning. <laughs> so early. I know some of you are like, Kai, I have to wake up for school. You know, I'm already awake. And I'm like, I've been out of school for three years now. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I really can't focus myself on just sitting in my hand. You're going to be going over my father's house so you can have a sleepover with Rocky. Yeah, while we're here, while I'm on vacation, since it's going to be longer than a whole day. Normally, if it was for a day, I wouldn't mind the bird just staying home. I already put one of those pellet thingies that feed the fish, you know, gives off food. They're supposed to last for three days, but also, like, it's three days in a 20-gallon tank, so I'm like... That fish tank is probably like four gallons. I think that thing's going to last way more than three days. But anyway, what I mean is, yeah, but since it's longer than a day, I bring him over to my father's house and with all his stuff, of course, like his food, his food, I just bring his entire bin over. Who's bothering me? Oh, it's my father. I was just telling him something this morning. I really hope I don't get a copyright claim because of my ringtone. <laughs> if anybody of you know where that's actually from, um... Do I know exactly what movie that's from? Because I know it's from Star Wars, okay? But which Star Wars is the question? Yeah, I know which one it's from. It's one of the two. I think it's actually what I, I, I'm more leaning towards one of them. <laughs> oh, speaking of Star Wars, who likes my Baby Yoda shirt? Oh, yes, I gotta go get my hygiene stuff. I also have to fully wake up in the morning. Watch your mouth. Bird. <laughs> Everybody wants to see the bird, okay? Nobody cares about me anymore. Don't give me that look. I swear you, you give me that. I don't know what to do with this thing. <laughs> I mean, how, how do you, how do you deal with this? It's perfection. <laughs> how do you deal with perfection? <laughs> You're so beautiful, you know that. Well, hopefully, hmm, that's some bad lighting. Let's turn around this way. Ah, much better. I know those are fluorescent lightings in my kitchen, but they're actually not that bad lighting in general. I might film in my kitchen a little more often only because it's better lighting. Because, um, you can see I have no lights in my living room except for that lamp. And that's normally the lamp I use. Yeah, I have some pretty good lighting here. I might film in this general area more often. Or possibly my new filming area where I'm going to be setting up, hopefully, when I get the money. Food first. Filming setup later. You can all tell I'm a Kingdom Hearts fan. <laughs> I have all the games except for two of them, actually. Yeah, I just bought a hard copy of the uh, of Kingdom Hearts 3. Beat it in like two days. <laughs> I still haven't beat one or two. Yeah, I know, I'm really bad. I should, you know, it's kind of like what I did with the Harry Potter series. I watched all the movies and then, and read the books afterwards. <laughs> and, then, and then yelled at the movies because they weren't the same as the, as the books. Anyone else have that problem? <laughs> Probably definitely gonna bring Shrek. Yeah, I have Shrek 1 and 2 on DVD. <laughs> They're so old. <laughs> I don't know, I know I'm gonna be bringing... Did I grab my Xbox One or my 360? Because I just got the 360 fixed. I think we realized that because my 360 doesn't have all the stuff saved on it, I gotta go on X I gotta update it on Xbox Live and I cannot. It has to be hardwired to the internet. It's got to be hardwired to the router, and I don't have a TV in my room. I have a problem. <laughs> Ta 
technically I'm not going to, you know, connect it to the internet, but still, I don't have all my worlds in my Minecraft. I slowly started transferring everything over, but it didn't transfer over everything. Uh, what I mean by transferring it over to the hard drive, because they just gave me the same exact model, just a better one. But I'm also like, my Xbox One, it doesn't need to be connected to the What? What do you want? I'm giving you attention. Didn't you say you wanted attention? You wanted attention, right? I told you. This is what I do to him. He wants attention. I give it to him. He doesn't want it anymore. Help me explain that. Anyway, so, um... Where was I? Before I was rudely interrupted... Is the it, Yes. Can I help you? You'll have all the time to yell at Brother Dragonstone when you get to Father's house. My brother's taking care of the pets. So you can have all the time to yap and yell at him. So save that little voice for him. You can tell him how much of, of an idiot he is. I love my brother. <laughs> so anyway, what I was saying is, um, you see, I have a problem. My 360 is good, but there's no way to play games except for the hard copies of some of the games. It's not bad. But my Xbox One has so many games I downloaded over the times that I wanted to play and also play. That I could be like, okay, I don't need the internet to actually play them. But then my 360 is only worth 80 bucks. My Xbox One's worth about $200. So I'm like, what do I do? Do I take the Xbox One and bring it? Or do I just take my 360 and a bunch of movies? Because I know for sure I'm going to get bored. Alright, now I'm bringing my little Chromebook. I can't bring ye old computer because I'm not connecting myself to that internet there. I don't trust it. Um, yeah. I know for sure I'm going to be filming. I have a lot of stories to tell you guys on this vlog. Just some stories of people I've dealt with in real life. Annoying people to be exact. I thought I almost lost the SD card this morning. You know, I have like four SD cards. And I'll tell you the story in the hotel room later. Yes, people I've dealt with in real life. Yeah, let, well, technically. I could bring the wired controller to my Xbox One, although I never really played with the wired controller. I love wireless. Everyone likes wireless controllers. Especially um, if your setup's kind of weird. Hmm. Hmm. What are your thoughts? Fishy, have any input? I agree with both of you. I'm going to bring the Xbox One. It's just I have more games on there. Like, more entertaining games. More games that I can, like, put hours and hours in. But then again, on my 360, technically it didn't save all of my, my game files. So then I could just always start fresh on some of them. Like, I have two games I know I can put hours into, or a few minutes at least into. And then I also have that one game that I haven't played in forever, but I've been wanting to play, because, but my 360 car disc reader broke. I'll give you guys a little more information on that. I probably said it in multiple videos, but I still, you know, it was kind of hard to explain exactly what was wrong with it. And then when I took it to the people who I got the new 360 from, they said, oh, it's probably just dying. You know, we'll take it off your hands for 40 bucks and give you a new one. But, um, 
and we'll just probably use it for parts. I was like, hey, as long as I get a new one. <laughs> so, I will see you all later. Baby Yoda. No, I haven't watched The Mandalorian yet. I'll have Disney Plus. I know. Baby Yoda. Actually, the child. Because we don't know if it's Yoda or not. See y'all later. Day two, I seriously um, forgot to record. We also got here at like seven or eight o'clock at night. We hit a crap ton of traffic. We hit the um, afternoon work traffic and oh my God. We normally it'd be an hour and a half, two hour drive. But yeah, I think it took more more on the two hour side. Bubbles and I are chilling. So I guess I will be here to give you guys a tour of the room. It is my own room, by the way. I just make it kicking stuff out of the way. So I guess we'll start to show the entrance. Let me turn on the light so you guys can see better. Flip it to dingies and smooth transition. Wow! No, it was really horrible. Okay. So you walk in, this is the entrance right here. We have a decent sized closet. It's actually a pretty nice sized closet, especially for two people. Well, I've already started using this is the bathroom it's really nice in here I know and yes I did forget to close the toilet seat but yeah uh, it's all my junk shower shower is actually pretty decent size my favorite part is those little stickers on the bottom because those are like grips they're awesome this is my coffee station I already used the napkin um uh, the, the, the traumatic story. Uh, microwave. Sometimes when I'm really, really bored, I set the clock on the microwave in the hotel room, even though I know it's going to get reset. Um, oh, yes, I have the romantic room on accident. My father was and his girlfriend were supposed to get this room. So I got a jet tub. I already used it last night. Oh, my back felt so much better. I actually might tell them, hey, do you want to swap rooms for a few hours and you guys could use the jet tub and just so you guys, if you wanted to use it, my father probably wouldn't fit. <laughs> well, I shouldn't be saying that, but his girlfriend might. This is the TV. It's not a bad size. I did bring the Xbox. But the remote is programmed a very strange way, and I can't seem to find buttons to be able to manually operate the TV. So the Xbox isn't going to work. I was going to play some Skylanders. This is a new 360. I did get it replaced. The hard drive is mine, and that's how I was able to transfer some of my stuff. But not everything transferred, but some of it did save on Xbox Live, so I do got to hardwire it to the internet and update my Xbox. Um, those are my socks, my mask. It was actually um, custom made. It's one of those custom cool masks. I like how it's reversible because if the other side gets a little too drenched in sweat, it's better. My little Chromebook, my wallet, the second battery is charging because I forgot to charge it last night. The lamp, uh, my clothes, the king size bed. Ew. And I just woke up. <laughs> Then over here is actually really nice. You got a little chair. It's where I throw my dirty clothes. Because yours truly forgot to buy a garbage bag. Bring a garbage bag with them. These are supposed to be conjoined rooms. No, my father and I are not connected rooms. That is just some random person on the other side. <laughs> if that room has actually been bought out. These rooms are $47 a night or like under $50 a night. So my father's like, why would we get a family room? when we could just get two separate rooms. And then I can have my own room to do whatever I want. So, yeah. 
I'm out of frame. I have no caffeine in my system and I realize the coffee maker does not come with tea. I don't do coffee. I do tea. But it, oh, it does come with tea. But it doesn't come with creamer. The hell of a thing do people think they are? Monsters. I'm not doing that powdered creamer. That stuff tastes nasty. I also forgot my tripod. So, yeah. So I guess we're going to see. Let me get my phone and turn it on sound just so if my father does decide to call, because that's how we've been communicating through text messages and calling. And also, friends have been texting me. Let me push the battery out of the way. I'm thinking if it stood right here, that's actually perfect. It's on the little part of the lamp that's a little raised up. Ready bag, my laptop case. Ah, oh, you guys could see me, but not as well. Yeah, you guys can't really see me. Dang it. This may be risky, but I'm probably going to prop you guys on my Xbox, actually. <laughs> Should have brought the tripod. The Xbox isn't that heavy. I could pick this thing up with one hand, but I just realized I got to unplug some of the stuff. I actually got to pack this thing away. Like I said, I can't hook it up. The t it's not the TV, it's the remote. I think hotels do this just so you can't do this. Like, hook up your own stuff. But, oh, that's perfect, actually. That is, that is actually perfect. I'm glad I brought the Xbox one. No, seriously, like, some nights, you know, father and his girlfriend would um go into their room and do their thing, and I'm like, I need something to keep me occupied for a few hours. I won't have Wi-Fi. So the only Wi-Fi I technically would have is my phone, so I don't want to, like, even though I have unlimited data, I... You know, I have unlimited data on my phone, but I just still don't want to go over. Like, I know I don't get a fee if I go over since I have unlimited, it's just me, okay? I gotta go get some water. To the mini fridge! Oh yes, I didn't go through my entire snack haul. Water bottle. I'll probably get ready in an hour or so. It's like seven in the morning. Not not a time I normally wake up. You can just tell how tired I am. I didn't get that much sleep last night. So the traumatic event, I was taking my bath in the jet tub and um, the phone fell in. I wasn't texting on it. It was actually next to the little ottoman that's next to the uh, next to the tub. And I have that little laptop thing. I use that actually for the old computer, but I wanted to use it because it helps me when it's when my little Chromebook in the car. It actually helped it a lot. And uh, yeah, I know I could have brought the old computer and not just hooked it to Wi-Fi and just tried to see if it works without Wi-Fi, but it is very slow. So, um, and I could have edited some videos. I know I'm getting a new one soon. So, yes, yeah, so what fell in? It literally the second it fell it fell in, I took it out and I threw it, wrapped it in a towel meaning. <laughs> I remember when I got the phone the guy said it's water resistant. So he said if you're ever in a rainstorm and you can't keep it safe, even in your pocket, he said it'd, it'd be fine. And he said if it was like in five feet, it'd be a goner. That tub's probably like, when I filled it, it was probably like a foot to a foot and a half of water. Maybe even less, I don't know. But yeah, so I did drop the phone in water for the very first time actually in my entire life. I did lose a phone to a washing machine because I left it in my pocket and I, it, that was actually also around the time when I first had a phone. Well, okay. Here's the story. I had a phone. I got it taken away. I got it back. My mother, like you all know, was a big control freak. She would take my phone away for months. And I, you know, would be okay because at the time she got me a really crappy non-smartphone. But the second I got a smartphone, 
she didn't like that at first. Like, she liked it because she knew I could be able to take photos better because she got me those crappy flip phones that take really crappy photos. And she was great. She was actually really happy that I could go. And also, this was stupid. I got it at 14. <laughs> so, because my mother was like, oh, I don't trust you with the smartphone fully. I did technically have a droid before then, but the droid was really crappy. It was very, it was, a, the droids were very bad phones, actually. <laughs> I think I got the droid 3. It was a really bad phone. So... Then for like six or seven months, I had no phone because I was in a different situation. My mother gives me a crappy razor. Mm, razors are the crap when I was a kid. They still sell those, which is really weird. But um, I'm starting, my sinus is starting to drain. I actually have to take my sinus pill. <laughs> One sec. I take a sinus med every morning nowadays because the allergies are really bad. This is my ready bag. If you guys want to see a video of what I pack in here, I've only been doing this for maybe a few weeks now, so I do know what's all in here. Um, let me know. Uh, that, that's the science med. I didn't pack my allergy meds. I just realized that. That's why I wasn't. That's why I kind of sound like this. Normally, by the morning, I do sound congested, but not as congested, but I did forget to pack my allergy meds. Oh, uh, worse. Uh. Pack scissors. Because these little plastic thingies, on, these little foil things on the back is a lie. I never want to open. Excuse me while I take my sinus med real quick. Um, but anyway, so I did have a phone for a while and then it was taken away for six or seven months. So I wasn't used to having one. This is why I, I it went through the washing machine. I wasn't used to having one. So I would leave it anywhere and then forget where it was. Cause I was, you know, I've been around with it, with it for, for seven months. So I'm like, where is it? <laughs> so, How'd you find it in the washing machine? Okay, this is funny. Have you ever put shoes in a dryer and they kind of make that clunk, 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 like that type of stuff? We used to do that, especially if it was like super raining, like really badly and we were running around in sneakers. So, <laughs> this is the funniest thing actually. I was already doing my laundry. I was living at my father's house and I'm like, hey dad, have you seen my phone? And he was like, oh, did you check your room? And I'm like, yeah, I'll go check it again though. Cause I didn't really like, I did a, a small sweep. I didn't go destroying the room. So I, you know, no, it's not my room. He's like, oh, where were you last? And we've been always taking showers in the master bedroom at his house because, um, it's bigger and has a wand shower. The one shower head. I love those things. <laughs> I literally replaced mine in my apartment because I needed it. <laughs> Especially because uh, even though I scrape my I scrub my scalp really well, I still get I have like a dry scalp dandruff problem. I'm good now, but it's sometimes it happens. And I just need that to help get all the extra stuff. I literally use it like a brush. <laughs> it's really nice, actually. And then, of course, my back. And no, I don't use it as a mic and try to sing in the shower. I use it as a guitar and play, pretend I'm playing the electric guitar. <laughs> anyway, so, um, we were so... I put my stuff in the dryer and I didn't know it was in the pocket of my pants. The second I come out and I'm like, no, it's not in the bedroom or the bathroom. I hear clunk, clunk, clunk. My, dad, my father's girlfriend's like, what the heck is that? And I'm like, those are my clothes. My father and I looked at each other and I didn't realize where the phone was. <laughs> it was a goner. It was in the washing machine for the whole cycle. So my father had to get me a new phone. 
My mother had a strict restriction, no smartphone. Because I was talking to people online, like you guys. They didn't want, she didn't want me talking to my friends, like you guys. Yeah, she did that for a while. Even though I was living at my father's house, but it was because I'm still a minor. I had to be 18 and graduated high school to not be under her rules anymore. With the divorce. So yeah, that was a little side story. Now, in this hotel, it's actually a very nice hotel in my opinion. Um, I had the sweetest um, person, front desk person last night when we checked in. She was the nicest person. Um, I put my room key in my wallet. By the way, don't do that. Um, especially if you have like, you know, debit cards and stuff. I, um, so uh, when we went in, we came home last night from dinner. I was like, oh crap, my room key's not working. Well, okay, we were we got back at like 10 o'clock at night, okay? We went out to dinner. I go up to the lady, it's like, hey, can you uh, reset my key? Uh, you know, reprogram it. I put it in my wallet. She's like, oh God, I, I know how you feel. <laughs> so the key has to be a loner. So I have to bring my bag everywhere I go now. I thought because, oh, we're just gonna go to dinner, I don't need my bag. Because the keys are going to sit in one pocket. My phone's going to sit in the other. And the everything else is going to be in the bag. But then I realized when I was walking back. I'm in 102. The person next to me is 104. I was putting the key in 104. That's how asleep I, that's how, like, asleep I was. Yeah. Help. I did so many bad things. <sighs> Still tired. Anyone bothering me? It's like 8 o'clock in the morning. This is around the time I would technically be waking up. I woke up an hour early than I normally do. Bed's pretty comfy actually. It just took me a while. It, you know, people with ADHD and possibly autism, I don't know, 100%. Being in a new place kind of like scares you. My throat also is super dry because my nose was all clogged up and I realized crap, I don't have my allergy pill. Oh god, just take your sinus med. No, because my sinus med actually has a little bit of, it's meant for the daytime and I'm like, I don't trust it. I need to sleep. Plus, I also had the phone incident, and I was freaking out. My phone had to update at 2 in the morning, so it had to charge. It's completely fine, by the way, guys. It's working perfectly okay. I let it air dry for the longest time. I had so many people helping me. Oh, my God, I think everybody who was helping me on Discord. Also, be mindful. They're like, is your phone okay? Is it on? And I'm like, I don't have Wi-Fi on my computer, so it's working because I'm able to talk to you guys. Also, I've been playing the little Google Dino game. <laughs> it's a lot of fun and it's so addicting. Just by past time, I played it for an hour or so. <laughs> because what the problem was is I was going to bring the Xbox, so I was going to bring games that I can put full hours into. And that was going to be what I was going to do for the next couple hours. But the TV is programmed a very weird way to where I can't select an input. It's really upsetting and I kind of wanted to tell the hotel lady is if there's a way I could get the input because I really, really wanted to play the Xbox. Because normally hotel TV has really crappy signals. I don't get many channels actually. I get Disney Channel, okay, so I'm definitely okay. I mean, I don't mind. I love Disney Channel. I also get Nickelodeon, so it's okay. But Nickelodeon shows kind of suck now. Disney, not so much, actually. The Disney shows are, eh. I don't watch as much TV as I used to since I have Netflix and stuff, but I ain't watching Netflix on my tiny phone. <laughs> so, I've been listening to music, playing the dino game. Um, the Xbox works, by the way. It's fine. I was able to trade it in. Got it for uh, 40 bucks. Got a $40 credit because 
the Xbox worked. I told him it connects to the internet fine. It functions properly. The disc reader just doesn't work. And the guy's like, yeah, that, that happens because it's an old system. It's also one of the first generations I learned. And he said, as long as it works in the other ways, he said, we can sell it, but it's gonna definitely be sold for less, or we can use it for scraps, like for salvage. And I just said, uh, well, do what you want with it. I just want a replacement. So I got this Xbox, it's 80, it's technically $80, but I got it for like 40 because of the $40 credit. So yeah, I mean, they did say it was gonna be at least 30, $40 for a trade-in. They already knew what was wrong with it. I mean, I told them the basics. I just said, works perfectly fine. It connects to the internet perfectly fine. Um, the only problem is it doesn't read discs properly. Yeah, I said, yeah, that happens. <laughs> I just repeated myself. I'm so tired. I need to eat something. Charging my second battery. We are going to be going out today. I don't know what time we're leaving, but we are going to a winery. I am over the age of 21. I am 22 now. I still want to belt out the Taylor Swift song for no reason at all. <laughs> uh, Cheyenne, a friend and I were like, oh, when that song first came out, we were like, oh, we can't wait till we're 22. We're going to have that song playing. And she's still doing it. I didn't. I didn't really, you know, I like the song. It's just, mm, mm, no, no. But, but I, for sure, if we're going to have a, because I'm still missing technically one party for my birthday. Because my friends have been so busy. Mostly it's just Cheyenne and her mutual friends that I'm cool with. I love them though. <laughs> so what I was saying, so we've all been planning to try to do a party so we can all hang out with me meeting for my birthday. And I'm like, it's kind of hard to because everyone's so busy. I even like, we're asking everybody's schedules and they're just busy like every day. It's really hard. Okay, why don't you get a job? I'm going to school. Really, Kai? Yup. I have not gotten accepted yet, but I am trying to sign myself self up for financial aid. Technically, I don't need to get accepted. I need to, it's a technical college. I just need to put it in an application and, you know, let them know if it's not full. But yeah, I'm going to college hopefully in March. So you might get less and less videos, but you it might turn from every week to every other week. Possibly, I don't know, depending of course on my college. I wanna put college first, even though I love you guys so much. And Burb loves you guys too. But he thinks he needs to have more attention than me on camera. Everybody just loves the bird. I do have some good photos of the bird. I took some before, you know. <laughs> you went over to sleep over. They grew up so fast. He, he went over to his eighth sleepover. Okay, so one time he went over because I was gonna like clean my oven and that oven cleaner is not good for animals. So I was like, hey dad, um, do you wanna have Fireball go over for a sleepover with Rocky. Um, I'm gonna be cleaning the house and I gotta use the oven cleaner. Yeah, sure, Cry. Uh, I actually kinda like it when he, cause um, if he's staying overnight. I kinda like it when he wakes up in the morning and he starts chirping. It's actually really pleasant. And I'm like, you don't understand what I go through then. <laughs> he actually says it's really cute when he goes up and he hears ee, 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 chirping like a maniac. He thinks it's cute because we used to have another bird in that house. That was Spike, who came into my house, and he said, it's so quiet now without the bird. <laughs> but my brother right now is taking care of both Rocky and Fireball, the bird. His name is Fireball. He is one year old. He's going to be two. God, this bird is getting old. And I wonder where he's going to start getting a job. He needs to start rolling in that money for me. He's gonna have to start paying rent too. <laughs> He's also like, I did one time talk about my apartment pet fee that I have to pay $300 for the pet fee and then 15, like 15 or 20 bucks every month. 
So when um, we had to renew the lease, the person asked, do you have any animals? And I said, I have a bird. And she's like, oh, it's a small bird. She's met the bird. I was like, oh no, it's not a, it's not a bird. It's my roommate. <laughs> and she was like, okay, now we have to, you know, pay another application fee for him to fill it out and get him a, a background check and DNA. It's like, oh my, but we were messing with that. It was funny. But I have the bird. I think also because we're having a cold front and warm front problem here in Florida, where like it gets cold and then it gets hot and then it gets cold and it gets, well, not cold. It actually gets beautiful, perfect weather, then really stinking hot weather, then beautiful weather again, which is like 70s for me. The 60s I would prefer because I love it when it's not cold because I could run around in a t-shirt and shorts and live my life. Why don't you move up north, Kai? You know, it's really funny. I was thinking of moving up north, like more in North Florida if I ever did get my own house, but um, I'd be too far away from family. That's the downside. All my family lives here that I'm close to. Like I could like say if I wanted to move out of state, I would move to New York. I. Because my grandmother, we know each other very well. I'm very close to her. I wouldn't move to anywhere near my cousins are because, well, one, they're all older, and two, I'm, I don't see them as much. I haven't seen them in 10 years. Maybe even a lot, maybe in more than 10 years. I mean, come to think about it, my sister, it was the... I think it was me going in from 8th grade to ninth grade. Because we did a bunch of college hopping up and down the states to see what's good for my sister. And I remember that she was going to be either a junior or a sophomore. I think she was going to be a sophomore. Yeah, she was going to be a sophomore. So I was going to go into ninth grade. And I was tagged along because, well, one, it was getting me out of the house, number one. And number two, I get to see some colleges myself. Although technically it was for her, I was able to grab the pamphlets and look at them. And some of the colleges were really nice, actually. Um, downside is, is like, you know, this one time we were in Pennsylvania and the and uh, we had a quiz, like, you know, he was doing the tour. He's like, okay, now pop quiz. Uh, how many windows were on one of the towers and the thing? And I couldn't answer because I wasn't part of the tour. I was known as a guest slash parent. That's literally what they put. That's what the sticker said. It said guest slash parent. And my sister got a sticker that says um, possible student or something like that, you know. So... <laughs> I couldn't answer the question, and I knew it, by the way. Anyway, so it was actually a lot of fun, but that's also the last time I seen my cousins. Now, seeing all of my cousins, because not all of them were there, at least 10 years or more. That's how old the computer is. Actually, come to think of it, I haven't flown in 11 years. Yeah, I haven't flown in a plane in 11 years. Sucks. I'm not scared of heights or planes or anything. I actually am just... It's funny, because the last time I flown was with my sister. Just my sister and I was 11, and she was like 16. We flew to get, we flown together to New York, actually, to visit my grandmother. For a couple weeks. It was fun, actually. It was like... I stayed in the basement. That basement is mine. I hog that basement for the rest of my life. I keep checking the time. There's no clock. Actually, what's really funny is my father was saying, oh, the alarm clock's broken. I actually don't have one, but it's no problem to me because I could just check my phone. I have no problem with the alarms but not having an alarm clock. I mean, yes, it's nice to have it so you don't have to look at your phone and be so bright, but actually what I do, especially, especially before I go to bed, just because 
I turned my phone brightness all the way down and I put it on comfort view is what we call it. So it's not as much blue light. So I don't wake up as much. It's like if I wake up in the middle and I'm so, I wonder what the time is. Yeah. I think this is actually very good lighting. It shows off my beautiful tired bags and dark circles. Oh, so fashionable. I gotta wash my face too. It's so, I can feel it, it's so dry. <laughs> but yes, that is my morning vlog. You got two stories, one about my phone and I'm, it still works. I was so scared of waking up and checking my, like when I woke up, I was like, oh phone, please be okay, phone, please be okay. And it was fine. Maybe when I was talking to the people, they were like, yeah, it, it would be okay. I'm just thinking that because what the problem is, is the speakers, the notification speaker isn't as loud. But if like, say I put on music or something, it's perfectly fine. It's really loud and really good. But the notification speaker is a little on the low side, even if I turn the volume up all the way. So I heard that might be a phone problem. I'm not saying it's 98 minutes. Of course my camera starts to die. <laughs> and the second battery is on the charger. <laughs> Say hi to the camera, father. <laughs> so we're trying six different wines. Can may I buy some? <laughs> Do they accept food stamps cards? <laughs> Okay, can you have a nice Sauvignon number three on your list? Yeah, I'll try it. 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 I'll try it.
Oh, that one's actually my favorite. I figured it would be. <laughs> you like this one even better. The Southern Red? It's a little bitter, but I like it. Hi. Southern Red Sweet Red. It's our best seller and we serve it chilled. Oh, that's thick. Mm -hmm. Southern red, southern white, those are good. Yeah, no, I did not like the Chardonnay. I like the other one. We have tasting upstairs. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon and welcome. I'm looking, Dad. <laughs> hey, it's Aunt Sebastian. That's all the way in St. Augustine. What do you think about that one, man? Very sweet. Very sweet. Very sweet. Absolutely. No, enjoy. Good afternoon, folks, and welcome. Hi, how are you? This is our Proprietor's Reserve. It's a dessert style wine, a blend of the two southerns with a little sherry built into it. Oh, okay. Oh, that's powerful. I think. I guess they'll give us new cups. Yeah, I just threw mine away. Ooh, it's a pineapple. <laughs> I want the pineapple. I didn't care. Me neither. Hey, somebody already said to put a wine fork in this one. Cheese straws. <laughs> Definite. Oh, Dad, look at the little cheese plate. The drink charms. Oh. Little pineapples. I was thinking of Annalise for the pineapples. Back here before we leave to go out, you know. Sorry, <laughs> oh, those are pretty ceramic stoppers. Oh, wait, here you go. Close. You could always buy one. I definitely have a wired mouse you could steal from me. Oh, I love the cheese board that's a piano. That's really pretty. And the guitar. The guitar. And the golf one, that's cool. That's what I was saying. It's a little wine cork holder in shape like a dog. Oh, we're trying to lay us on so much paper. Are you seriously thinking about buying shirts? They get some good grape juice. We used to do the tasting here at the Antrite. Yeah, they said it's upstairs now. They said if we go upstairs, it's more tasting up there. I like their grape I'd juice. I'd rather buy our souvenirs last. I know. You know. Can can we get some grape juice? <laughs> it's the best. It is. No, Dad. Actually, the Biltmore House is better grape juice, but still, I still like it. Some of these are really pretty. Where? Did you guys get to try the hot mold wine? Are you interested? Hot mold wine. I'm saying these are really pretty. They're all around. Yeah.
Got wine. I love the wine you're with. We can do that souvenir there. Here, stay in. Is this where you check out?